chum back so you can see the shark. Winch it up quick. I was scared when I fell in, but that thanks, was fantastic. Mate. Well done. Well done. Oh. Well, I hope we get some shots with that. The camera was designed to break away from the shark and pop up to the surface. After a couple of days, we picked up the signal. There it is. Look, just ahead of us. Have a precious and unique cargo. The camera seems okay, there's no damage here. A bit of shark fin. So, what's happened is either rubbed this off on rocks on the bottom or something. I just hope it was on long enough to get some really great footage. Wow. This was so exciting. The camera had survived whatever ordeal the shark had put it through. We were in the Pliocene observing a day in the life of a megalodon, and if that wasn't fantastic enough, this happened. It's a silhouette there, look. Whether it's an odobinocetops or whatever. You see that? And this could be great if we got a kill. He's going down. He's, atta he's attacking, look. Crikey! See that again. The footage we got with the shark camp, it's better than I could have ever hoped. It is so unique. Just watch this. The shark, it's down below. There's a shape up there. It's not an Odobinosotops. It's actually a species of whale. The shark's gone down so it can get more momentum when it attacks. It's accelerating now. And the violence of this impact, look at that cloud of blood, that's what knocked the camera off. And Megalodon, this is extraordinary. It's a species of shark that actually attacks living whales, and pretty big ones at that. 